Thank you so much for joining me today, Caroline. Let's start off just a few hours earlier today. Former President Donald Trump announced he would implement a 25% tariff on all imports from Mexico unless they helped with curbing some of the immigration. What's your reaction to this and what impact will that have? This is the type of strong leadership that America needs. We cannot afford four more years of this unprecedented illegal immigration crisis. Over the past four years under Kamala Harris, we've had more than 20 million illegal people from all over this world come into our country. They are making their way to communities in Wisconsin in every state across the country. It is draining our public resources, uh, hampering our education system, and these uh, illegal immigrants are threatening the wages and the jobs of hardworking American citizens. President Trump's going to put an end to it, just like he did in his first term when he secured the border and implemented the very effective Remain in Mexico policy that kept illegal immigrants in their home countries before they claimed asylum here in America. Mexico is our biggest trade partner in the U.S. and in Wisconsin specifically, according to the Wisconsin Economic Development Corps last year, Wisconsin imported more than $6 billion from Mexico. And in China, where former President Trump has also talked about implementing tariffs, we imported more than $5.8 billion. How will these tariffs impact Wisconsinites? Well, he, was, these tariffs are going to help Wisconsinites because, one, it's going to end the invasion of illegal immigrants that are making their way to Wisconsin. Two, it's going to protect good jobs here at home. What we're seeing right now is an outsourcing of labor to China and to other countries around the world as companies are seeking cheaper foreign labor as inflation has gone up and energy prices has gone up. So President Trump's going to use tariffs as a negotiating tactic, use it as leverage to negotiate good deals for good workers here at home. And he's also going to promise overseas companies that if you come and produce your goods here in the United States of America and hire American workers, you will have the lowest tax rate. He's going to cut the business tax rate to 15 percent. You'll have the lowest energy costs of any nation in this world. And you're going to be able to uh, enjoy the competition that we have here at home. Kamala Harris's plan is much different. She wants to continue to allow China and our adversaries to rip us off, to uh, have companies fleeing with Wisconsin and other great states here in our country in, in pursuit of cheap labor, uh, which is ultimately going to lead to the demise of our great country. We can't have that. We have to put America and American workers first. Many experts and economists have raised concerns that these tariffs could impact and hurt consumers, hurt inflation. What's your reaction to that? Well, many experts, as they like to call themselves, said this about President Trump's administration in his first term, and none of it was true. He used tar tariffs again as a leveraging tool, and we had the greatest economy in history. We had record low unemployment. When President Trump left office, inflation was 1.4 percent. Today, under Kamala Harris, prices are 25 percent higher. Gasoline under President Trump was $1.50 a gallon. Today, in some states like California, gasoline is $10 a gallon. We've seen a energy bills for the American people skyrocket as a result of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's energy policy. So you have to look at not just President Trump's tariff plan, which is effective as it was in his first term, but his overall plan for the economy, which is to cut taxes, drill baby drill, reignite our energy industry, which is ultimately going to bring down the cost of living and make America more affordable and competitive on the world stage. With it being election eve, how is the team feeling heading into election day tomorrow? How is the former president feeling? Well, we're feeling great. We are cautiously optimistic that President Trump is going to have a big victory tomorrow night, but everyone needs to get out and vote. We are seeing very encouraging signs in the early voting data that shows Republicans are turning out in a greater pace than Democrats. We want to keep that going through Election Day tomorrow, so we encourage all Wisconsinites to get out, cast your ballot for President Trump. From some of the initial data, it looks like there's a bit of a gender gap and disparity between who's turning out for Trump and who's turning out for Harris, where it looks like in many states, more women are turning out for Harris. What's the team's reaction to that gap? Well, we see more men are turning out for President Trump. 
And interestingly, the data also shows us that Democrat men are not showing up for Kamala Harris in the same way they showed up for Joe Biden in 2020. She is lagging behind where he was. She is also lagging behind where Joe Biden was in 2020 with female voters. In fact, in every battleground state, according to new data released by a Democrat data expert this morning, female turnout is down in every single battleground state when you compare it to female turnout in 2020. So Republicans are outpacing Democrats with the early vote. We see low propensity voters turning out to the polls. We know Republicans like to vote in person on election day, which is a good sign for us heading into tomorrow's race as Kamala Harris has a big deficit to make up with key demographics that she needs to propel her to victory. Well, thank you so much, Caroline, for joining me today. Thank you.